video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the CACDAS networking project, telling you a little bit of our history and our activities. I'm Christina Silva, and I'm the current manager of the CACDAS networking project, which is based in the Department of Sociology at the University of Surrey in Guildford in the UK. The CACDAS networking project was founded in the Department of Sociology in 1994 by Professors Nigel Fielding and Raymond Lee after the first international conference on the topic of computer-assisted qualitative data analysis. Each year it was someone else's turn in the sociology department to run a conference on a breaking area of theory or method, and in 1989 it was Nigel's turn. When looking around for a possible conference topic, he stumbled across a research note in a US journal that mentioned software to support qualitative data analysis. Nigel was initially sceptical, at that time assume, assuming that no computer program could possibly support the craft reasoning that lies behind the art of qualitative research. But he was also intrigued, so he enlisted Nigel Gilbert and Ray Lee's help to co-organise the conference. As well as a practical how-to element, they planned to debate the implications of using software in qualitative research. Nigel Fielding intended to play the role of the critic. But it didn't quite work out that way. In preparing for the conference, Nigel read the pioneering work of the late Renata Tesh, who way ahead of her time had related different analytic approaches to different computing techniques. It was from Renata that Nigel learnt that the different approaches to qualitative analysis implied the need for a variety of qualitative software programs. And this is a principle that still underlies the work of the CACDAS networking project. The conference brought together the pioneer CACDAS developers and methodologists of the time, and it was a resounding success, igniting in both Ray and Nigel an interest and collaboration that has informed the CACDAS field. In 1991, they edited Using Computers in Qualitative Research. And in that book, they coined the term CACDAS. That the acronym evokes a cactus was intentional. Nigel and Ray wanted to reflect that using computers in qualitative research was a thorny issue. It certainly was at that time, and for some, it continues so. Between 1994 and 2010, the project received seven streams of funding from various economic and social research council initiatives, which enabled a range of networking, training and research activities. Anne Lewins managed the project from 1994 to 2010, and she was instrumental in developing capacity building activities and embedding the project. I joined in 1997 and have been with the project ever since, taking over from Anne when she retired. I now work closely with Sarah Bullock, and together we're exploring new ways that we can support researchers in their use of dedicated CACDAS packages. At various points over the years, we've also been joined by researchers, including Jane Fielding, Christine Rivers and Graham Hughes, who worked with us on the qualitative innovations in CACDAS research that we undertook between 2008 and 2010. And we've also been incredibly lucky to have the expertise of Graham Gibbs and the late Alan Bryman contribute to our research advisory board. And also Duncan Branley and Patsy Clark have taught some workshops to cover periods of maternity leave. So what do we do? Our remit is to provide independent awareness raising and capacity building in all things CACDAS. And our mission is to encourage the independent use of those tools. Although we have close relationships with all the major CACDAS developers, we have no commercial ties with any of them. So we can provide unbiased comparisons of tools and discussion of their application in different research contexts. We encourage critical evaluation of products and the tools offered within them in order that researchers can manipulate the tools to support their own ways of working and analytic approaches. We don't consider there to be a best CACDAS package, and we do not advocate the use of particular products. 
All our materials are developed out of our research work and experience of teaching and working with researchers using CACDAS packages since 1994. And of course, from our own use of those tools for our own research. We do not consider there to be a right or wrong way of using a tool for a particular purpose. And we don't advocate a one size fits all solution to methodological or practical issues. We provide software specific training, an email and telephone helpline, and we undertake research to develop reviews and resources. We've currently got 14 reviews of CACDAS packages available for free on our website, and we're continually updating and adding to them as new tools and versions become available. We launched a CACDAS webinar series in September 2020 to continue our work in raising awareness and encouraging debate about the use of CACDAS for methodological and pedagogical purposes, and to offer a platform for users of these tools to share their work in progress. And there are a plethora of choices out there. Some are free and or open source. Some are the pioneers and have been around for decades. Others are new. Some provide tools to support a range of analytic approaches. Some are focused specifically on certain qualitative data types or methodological applications. Whatever your needs for qualitative and mixed methods analysis, there's a CACDAS package out there for you. At the CACDAS Networking Project, Sarah and myself strive to open discussion about CACDAS tools. So please check out our website and do get in touch. We respond to demand and do our best to organise activities that are useful and engaging for the international community of researchers using digital tools for qualitative and mixed methods analysis.